If you've ever wanted to collect feedback or measure opinions in a structured way, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll show you how to create a Likert scale in Google Forms. A Likert scale measures how much people agree, disagree, or feel neutral about a statement. This is useful for collecting opinions, measuring satisfaction, and analyzing overall sentiment. So without further ado, let's get started. Step one, create a new survey. Head over to Google Forms, then click on the blank form or choose a template if you already have one in mind. Give your survey a title and description so that your respondents know what the survey is about. For example, you can name it as Employee Satisfaction Survey or Customer Satisfaction Survey. Step two, add Likert scale questions. Click on the plus icon to add your first question. In the question type dropdown, select multiple choice grid. This is the format used to build a Likert scale in Google Forms. Now in the rows section, list the statements or items you want people to rate. For example, you can list the product meets my expectation as the first statement in the first row. Then you can follow it up with the website is easy to navigate and the customer support was responsive. All three statements will be rated by the respondent. You can also keep it to just one statement if you want. In the column section, you can enter your scaling points. These are your rating options. For example, one can be very poor, two can be poor, three can be fair, four can be good, and five can be excellent. This will create a clear scale which your respondents can use to express how they feel about each statement. You can also use Likert scale to compare different options or measure satisfaction, agreement, or experience levels. Step three, make it required and add more questions. To make sure no question is skipped, toggle on require a response in each row. If you want to add more Likert style sections, repeat this step and change the topic for each one, such as team collaboration or work-life balance. If you want to collect personal details, such as the name and email, simply use the short answer box. Step four, customize the layout. If you want to make your form more organized, click on the add section icon in the sidebar. This will help you categorize questions, making your survey easier to follow. Step five, preview and test your form. Click on the eye icon to preview your form. Check if the grid looks balanced and the scale options are clear. If something feels cluttered, you can shorten the statements or rearrange the columns. Step six, share your form. Once you're done, click on publish in the top right corner and make sure the responder's view is set to be anyone with the link. You can share your form link via email, social media, or even embed it on your website. A bonus tip, if you want an easier way to build a Likert scale questionnaire, you can always use Pomister's AI to build it. Just describe what you want to create. For example, create a product feedback survey with fields to capture personal details and a Likert scale to measure satisfaction. It will create a complete survey with all the questions and scales. You can always add more questions and customize them to your liking. And that's it. You now know how to make a like at scale in Google Forms from start to finish. If you found this helpful, make sure to like the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.